course, the biggest difference for us in the live versus in the studio is the bass. Because when we do it live, obviously, they are the same. What do you think about doing this without the click? Because it seems like in the in the drum fill parts, it gets a little off. So, any problem with doing that? Uh, I have no problem doing that. Let's try one. So Mike just, but Mike has to learn the tune, basically the big holes that are in there. Having a bigger background as a bass player, most of my guitar riffs, I mean, I'm not a guitar player. I'm a bass player who's holding a guitar. And so the riffs are bass riffs. You know, I'm on that side of the beat most of the time. I'm not doing the lead lines. So I think think that that influences more the writing element because these things come out super riffy because that bass thing translates over to sounding riffy if you do it on guitar. So we're speeding through this thing and we're getting the bass going right now. We're going to add that to the tracks and go for a live feel and we're not going to worry about the click thing. We're going to see if we can get it as a trio live. So Mike's gonna cop the tune in record time, like he always does. And sound-wise, uh, we're going into a preamp straight out of the bass. So we're doing a DI into this preamp. This is the Chandler LTD-1. It's a really nice, discreet, Class A, Mike Pre, sort of a Neve impersonation. Uh, really good. I'm bypassing all the EQ on it. I'm just using the preamp part of it. And then I'm going into the LTD2 for compression. I'm doing a pretty slow attack time and a pretty quick release uh, just to cover all the dynamic because there's soft parts that Mike does, but when it goes into the bo bo bo, it's really loud. And I'm going to try to constrict the dynamic a little bit and give it more sustain. Yeah. A compressor is an amplitude dependent attenuator. The most common uses for a compressor are either to reduce a signal's dynamic range or to increase the perceived sustain of an audio source. The threshold and the ratio are the two most important parameters for any compressor. Working together, it is these two controls that will determine what parts of your audio signal are compressed and by how much. The threshold setting is the point at which the waveform amplitude is high enough for the compressor to begin attenuating the signal. Anytime the amplitude passes the threshold, the wave will be attenuated at a rate determined by the ratio. For example, at a ratio of 4 to 1, if a signal extends 4 dB beyond the threshold, the compressor will attenuate it by a factor of 4, resulting in a final output of only 1 dB above the threshold. The effect is a squishing of the amplitude variation in the waveform, or, more directly, the waveform is compressed. By adding gain to the affected signal, we can increase the perceived volume of the quieter portions of our audio, which can add sustain to a signal or bring out more subtle nuance in the performance, all without making the transient portions too loud, causing them to peak or distort. Now a limiter is a special type of compressor with a very high ratio. In fact, most brick wall limiters have ratios fixed at somewhere around 60 to 1. In theory, this means that no matter how loud a transient or signal gets, the output from the compressor will never exceed 1 dB above your set threshold. And you notice that he's using the Dan Electro bass, which is a perfect complement to the Dan Electro guitar that Matt's playing. Actually, it looks like it's the same color and everything. So this is going to be a nice harmonious version. Okay, so when you hear the click, it means we're rolling, so somebody's gonna count it off or just go in with the guitar intro riff. I was really fortunate that Mike is a great bass player and was able to pick it up like that. And then, you know, it's like the, the telephone game or the, you know, the, the wingman role of always confirm and then add. So I think Mike did a great job of confirming the riff and then adding his own flavor to take it to a, a bigger place. 